Sometimes you want to put a big block beast into an engine bay originally created for a small block. Case in point, our Project Grandma. This 1978 Malibu is a classic little old lady car originally sporting an anemic V6, which we are replacing with a monster 555 cubic inch Elbrock crate engine injected with nitrous to make over 1,000 horsepower. With such a large big block, we knew we needed some monster big tube headers to exhaust all of that airflow. Short of building custom headers, there were few choices out there in the sizes that we were looking for. Then we found Dan Lemon at Lemon's Headers, a company that specialises in building large tube custom racing headers that are available off the shelf. That's right, they've done the hard work for us. We selected Lemon's BBR 550 Big Block Race Headers, which are available in any header tube size up to 2.5 inches and any collector up to a monster 5 inches. We chose two and a quarter inch headers and a four inch collector for the 555. As you can see, the Lemons headers have two tubes on each side of the frame, and that means these headers grant you additional spark plug clearance, better header fitment, and increased ground clearance. We learned when we were ordering, Lemons builds their headers custom to your car. They can make a header to suit pretty much your every need out of either mild or stainless steel with 3 8 inch thick flanges. We're talking serious race headers for small and big blocks and even LSX swaps in many classic muscle cars. Installing these Lemons headers is a bit like figuring out a jigsaw puzzle. You need to start with everything laid out on the floor. On the driver's side we began with the number 4 primary, then installed the first, third and finally the second header tube. After all the primaries were in place, we slipped the 4 inch collector over the header tubes and locked them into place. Fitment of the Lemons headers was excellent. The header tubes cleared every single area of our frame and body with the exception of a small area of clearance required on the motor mounts. After a small amount of grinding, we were able to complete the installation. One last thing to keep in mind, Dan recommends for his headers either a fibre or copper gasket with a thin layer of high temp silicone to seal the deal. He also recommends you use anti-seize on all the bolts, making removal that much easier. All in all, the Lemons headers provided a custom header fit for a reasonable mail order price. Best of all, no hassles or fuss. The investment and patience to install are well worth it for headers of this quality. We can't wait to hear how they sound once we get this monster crate engine fired up. Oh,